If you're intrigued, you probably should be. The healthcare industry has long ignored the needs of the 1 billion women entering menopause globally. A recent study concluded that women spend $600 billion trying to understand and treat their menopause. Yet, despite the size of this market and major strides in general destigmatization of women's health and the forwarding of femtech across the board, menopause remains misunderstood, underserved, and honestly pretty taboo. This is a major problem because the improper treatment of menopause and perimenopause can affect women's health for the remainder of their lives. So why is menopause having its moment now? Earlier this year, Susan Domenis from the New York Times published a piece called Women Have Been Misled by Menopause. This article went viral, receiving over 3,000 comments on the article page. And it, it ignited a really big conversation on how we define menopause, how it's been treated historically in doctor's offices, and what women should do about it today. Hormone treatment like estrogen and progesterone, um, which is a common solution, has been a really challenging topic for the medical community. But that doesn't dispute the fact that common symptoms like night sweats and hot flashes impact women every minute of every day. Susan's article highlighted nuances in hormone therapy risk and brought to life the range of options that are now available to women seeking relief. Over the past several years, we've seen innovation in biopharma with Oviva Therapeutics and in CPG with Stripes and Weil. Menopause should definitely be more than a moment.